Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Mathiullah Khatak, teaching you English. Today we are going to discuss the last lesson of the first unit, which is called the Blades of Grass. At the end of this lecture, you must be able to know about the concept of personification. You must be able to know about what is most appreciated by God. And you must be able to know about paraphrasing and understanding a poem. So let us proceed to go through the poem. The poem has been divided and to two stanza for your conven convenience in order to understand it properly. What happens in the first stanza and what goes in the second stanza, let us give a reading. Stanza number one, but before you're going to give a reading to this stanza, the Blades of Grass, which is the title of the poem written by Stephen Crane. You need to remember the title of the poem and the name of the poet as well, because they are important from examination point of view. In the examination, you may be given an MCQs, which is usually composed or built like uh, the Blades of Grass is written by and then, uh, and then a blank space is left. The blade of grass is written by Stephen Crane, William Blake, uh, Langston, whose different writers' names are given. So you should remember the correct one. Now let us see. Stanza number one. In heaven. Some little blades of grass stood before God. What did you do? Then all save one of the little blades began eagerly to relate the merits of their lives. This one stayed a small way behind Ashamed. Stanza number two. Presently, God said, And what did you do? The little blade answered, Oh my Lord, memory is better to me. For if I did good deeds, I know not of them. Then God in all his splendor arose from his throne. Oh, best little blade of grass, he said. So after going through the two stanzas, you must have guessed the meaning what is happening in the poem so in heaven where is the setting the setting means where does the poem takes place where does it occur where does it happen in heaven it happens in heaven somewhere in the seven skies in heaven some little blades of grass. There were some little blades of grass. They were standing before God and God asked them, what did you do? God is inquiring them about their deeds. Then all save one of the little blades. And then what happens? All of them, except save means except one of the little blades there is one of the whole class of the whole crowd began eagerly to relate 
they started impatiently eagerly means over here impatiently uh, telling about uh, the merits of their lives the good deeds of their lives on earth this one which one this one except one this one this one stayed a small way behind this one was standing uh, a little way behind and it was uh, feeling guilty shameful then presently god said god said to him at once immediately god rose from his throne and and went over to him and asked him immediately and what did you do what is your performance on earth during your life there the little blade answered this little blade gives the answer that uh, memory is better to me memory is better to me if it we do a paraphrase of this sentence we would say that the little blade told god that i do not remember anything good from my past life except bad deeds memory is better to me i do not remember anything good from my past life except the bad deeds i did for if i did go- i did good deeds if i did anything good during my past life i know not of them i forgot them i did not keep their record i did the good deeds only because they were good deeds and then i forgot them then god in all his splendor in all his grandeur in all his brilliance badi shaan aur shaukat ke sath arose from his throne arose from left his throne and started walking toward the little blade of grass and bestowed him with this title with this honor that you are the best little blade blade of grass you are the best in this class in this crowd so after going through after going through the lesson through the poem you must have guessed that some genuine reality is being revealed in a very simple way at that and that simple way is that some blades of grass these are the blades of grass human beings are being compared to blades of grass in the presence of uh, god sitting on his throne we are very very much like these blades of grass our value is the same like these blades of grass but that is another thing that we think that we are very much something actually we are no more than these blades of grass in god's presence so their simple way is that some blades of grass are standing in front of god which are actually representing human beings who are standing in the court of god on the day of judgment now god inquires of them about their performance during their past life on earth the whole class of blades of the blades of grass is impatient to tell about their good deeds but there is one little blade of grass which is shameful and feeling guilty because he doesn't remember anything he doesn't remember anything from good 
from his past life on earth except the bad deeds his conscience his conscience is pricking him for doing bad deeds only it means he remembers only his bad deeds he doesn't remember any good deed if he did to anyone during his past life this quality of the little blade is most appreciated by god over the other ones present there now god honors this shameful little blade with the title honors this little first of all god left his throne and started walking toward the little blade this was also in honor for the little blade and then gave him the title that you are the best little blade of grass all this sample if you think for a little moment all this sample but highly imaginative discussion means that good deeds are those which are done only because they are good acts and are not expected for any reward in return if you are expected any if you are expecting any reward in return it means you are not doing a good job you are inviting god's displeasure you are inviting god's wrath has anger so good deeds are those which are done only because they are good acts and one should not expect for the reward in return so what happens in our society today if we discuss the poem in the present context relate the poem to the present context to relate to the present situation what is going on in our society if you look around in our society especially these days we are going through critical situation if we are going to help someone with money or food items what we do first of all on this occasion is to take a selfie or a picture before we hand over the need of that person we do not hand over the money the food item first of all we take a selfie we take a picture we take and share it to facebook twitter or whatsapp and then hand over the need of the person so we are knowingly or unknowingly inviting god's displeasure because it is totally against our ethics or morality or you can say against our religion so please stop it anymore now let us know a little bit about the poet of the poem stephan crane was an american poet novelist and short story writer prolific throughout his short life prolific means a versatile character one who writes on different topics and produces great works many works is called a prolific writer he had a very short life he wrote notable works very famous works and the realist tradition uh, his works are are based on reality they are not based on romanticism they are not far away from life they are very close to life real picture of the society as well as early example of american naturalism and impressionism naturalism is realism impressionism is giving detail to something to make an impression upon the mind 
you keep it in mind as if you have seen the thing if described to you by such writers is called impressionism he is recognized by modern critics he is accepted by the modern critics as one of the most innovative writer of his generation innovative one who takes pace with the age doesn't stay behind so innovative writer he keeps pace with the generation with the people with the race of his time with the generation of his time and doesn't stay behind he was born on this particular date new york new jersey united state died in on june 5 19 Baden Weller Germany so what is the theme main idea philosophy behind the poem in this highly imaginative uh, in this highly imaginative poem the poet aspires aspires means desire to convey a very important idea that all the creatures of God have been given wisdom to differentiate between good and bad deeds they will be answerable to God for their good or bad deeds. Evil doers will be punished harshly and those who have done good deeds will be rewarded. Those who have done good deeds should not feel proud. If you have done anything good, you should not feel proud. You should not feel proud. One should be humble and repentant. That is why the poet says that all the blades of grass started relating their good deeds while one blade of grass stood aside and felt ashamed of what he had done in, in this world. Allah was pleased with that little blade of grass. The poet wants to impress upon our minds the idea that God likes humbleness and repentance now let us look at the summary of the poem the summary of the poem you can say is an explanation to the poem this poem is in the narrative form with a dialogue between God and blades of grass in heaven on the day of judgment God said good are those amongst you who have done good deeds and do not feel proud on their good deeds Allah was pleased only with that little blade of grass who stood aside because she was he or she you can use was ashamed of his her actions Allah said with all his majesty so remember his H should be written in capital it refers to God you are the best among all amongst all and these lines the poet narrates an imaginary case an imaginary case means it doesn't happens it doesn't happen actually anywhere it is uh, the product of imagination an imaginary case of blades of grass in the court of God on the day of judgment after listening to proudful blades of grass God asked the little blade of grass who was standing little a little behind from others and was very ashamed for what he had to say about his deeds before God the little one replied that he had forgotten all about his good deeds on the contrary he had a better memory of his bad deeds only he made a very bold confession of his conscience he felt extremely sorry for what he had done in the world god was very much pleased of his bold confession and repentance God stood up from his throne with all his majesty and rewarded that little blade of grass with the title as I told you that you are the best of 
the little blade of grass god said you are the best amongst all so here you will learn what is paraphrasing paraphrase means to convert or write the poetical form in the simplest possible language the simplest possible language means the language that we use in our daily conversation is simplest possible language this prosaic style is called paraphrase if you write this poetical form poetical form this stanza form and your own words we call it paraphrase so the paraphrase is very simple some little blades of grass were standing in the court of god on the day of judgment in the heaven he asked them about their deeds and action on earth when they were alive they all started to relate about their deeds and action impatiently ex and excitedly but one little blade of grass kept quiet and stood behind others because of shame the second one you can see god asked without any delay without any delay is presently at once immediately from the little blade of grass about his good and bad deeds that he had done when he was alive the little blade of grass replied that he did not remember any if uh, he had done any good deed god was pleased with uh, his answer and god in all his majesty stood up from his throne and blessed him now let us uh, see the questions and their answers that you may, may see difficult if uh, you face them in the paper what does the first question is what does the blades of the blades of grass symbolize so the blade of grass stands for something as i told you actually they are human beings standing uh, on the day of judgment in front of god responsible for their deeds what does they symbolize the blade of grass is a symbolic poem symbolic poem means it stands for something else the blade of grass standing in front of god actually represent human beings accountable for their deeds good or bad while living on the earth before the day of judgment the second question over here is why is the little blade of grass ashamed it has been well explained the little blade of grass was feeling guilty for not remembering anything good from his past life on earth he only remembered the bad deeds about his past life resulting in his shameful appearance before the throne of god this repentance this is a this repentance breaking of his conscience was the most was the most appreciated by god at once question number 3 what is personification so personification this whole poem is an example of personification when a non living thing is uh, attributed associated attached the features characteristics of uh, human beings we call it personification in poetry what is personification explain personification is a literary device used to attribute associate attach the features characteristic of uh, living things human beings to non living things like the blades of grass a stone a pen a book etc resultantly they start speaking for itself the blades of grass is an example of personification hope you got the main points of this poem if you have any question you can submit it in the comment box or whatsapp it to my number thank you very much